The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise. You never cease to call us to a new and more abundant life. God of love and mercy, you are always ready to forgive. We are sinners, and you invite us to trust in your mercy. Time and time again we broke your covenant, but you did not abandon us. Instead, through your Son, Jesus our Lord, you bound yourself even more closely to the human family by a bond that can never be broken. Now is the time for your people to turn back to you and to be renewed in Christ your Son, a time of grace and reconciliation. You invite us to serve the family of mankind by opening our hearts to the fullness of your Holy Spirit. In wonder and gratitude, we join our voices with the choirs of heaven to proclaim the power of your love and sing of our salvation in Christ. Father, from the beginning of time, you have always done what is good for us, so that we may be holy as you are holy. Look with kindness on your people gathered here before you. Send forth the power of your Spirit, so that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom we have become your sons and daughters. When we were lost and could not find the way to you, you loved us more than ever. Jesus, your Son, innocent and without sin, gave himself into our hands and was nailed to a cross. Yet before he stretched out his arms between heaven and earth, in the everlasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Paschal Feast in the company of his disciples. While they were at supper, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. At the end of the meal, knowing that he was to reconcile all things in himself by the blood of his cross, he took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks handed the cup to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We do this in memory of Jesus Christ, our Passover and our lasting peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection, and look for the coming of that day when he will return to give us the fullness of joy. Therefore, we offer you, God, ever faithful and true, the sacrifice which restores us to your friendship. Father, look with love on those you have called to share in the one sacrifice of Christ. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make them one body, healed of all division. Keep us all in communion of mind and heart with Benedict, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop. 
Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until at last we stand in your presence to share the life of the saints in the company of the Virgin Mary and the apostles and of our departed brothers and sisters whom we commend to your mercy. Then, freed from every shadow of death, we shall take our place in the new creation and give you thanks with Christ our risen Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus has taught us to call God our Father, and so let us now pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us turn now and offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in this reflection on peace? Peace is only found in yes. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist help us to remain faithful. May it teach us the way to eternal life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from North Bay, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible.